Hi, we're with Dr. Faki. Dr. Faki, can you tell us about this important study that you presented at ASCO? Sure. Uh, so today we presented the results of a first-in-human study of a small molecule. It's an oral pill called AMG510, and it's specifically designed to target a mutation in the tumor that drives cancer growth. The mutation is called KRAS G12C. This is a mutation that is present in approximately 13% of patients with lung cancer, approximately 3% of patients with colon cancer, and maybe 1 in or 2% of patients with other cancers. And what were the results of your study? The majority of patients uh, that we reported upon today who enrolled in the study were patients with lung cancer and colorectal cancer. We only had two patients with appendiceal cancer. So what we know is that we have a definite clear signal in patients with lung cancer. We're seeing very robust responses. Half the patients that we have assessed right now have had shrinkage in their tumors by more than half. And about 90% of the patients that we reported upon had a benefit. Again, in colon cancer, we have seen approximately three-quarters of patients having stable disease with this uh, treatment, which is quite impressive. This is disease control in patients who have progressed on all standard therapies, and they're doing quite well with this, with this treatment. It sounds like a remarkable breakthrough. What are the implications for treatment going forward? So I think these have uh, definite implications specifically for the KRAS G12C population. And I want to really kind of make a point here that this is not an inhibitor for all KRAS. KRAS G12C is an uncommon KRAS mutation, but we need to look for those mutations because even if they are rare, it means we have now precise medicines, drugs that can really target specifically a mutation. And the, the inhibition of these, this mutated protein results in a clinical benefit. I think this study is going to continue for the time being, enroll more patients at our center and other centers, and hopefully move on to larger studies so that we can get this drug on the market for patients who benefit from it. It's really encouraging. Thank you, Dr. Fakih.